All right. When I was in the sixth grade, I made a Star Trek The Next Generation computer game. This is a choose-your-own-adventure game that I made in HyperCard. Apparently with my friend Andy. Although, I think I did most of the work. <laughs> so we had a scanner. Uh, these were all, you know, these were just probably on a Mac Classic. So just black and white Macintosh. Uh, I used the scanner to scan in certain graphics from my Star Trek The Next Generation technical manual. So that's where this enterprise came from. There's also a soundtrack. However, you can't hear it the way that I'm running it and recording this video. Uh, but the way that I got the Next Generation theme song to play on this opening screen was I took a tape recorder, cassette tape recorder, home from school, and I waited for Star Trek to come on on TV and hit record, and then just with a little microphone built into the tape recorder, recorded and then brought it back to school and then played the theme back uh, while recording it on the Mac Classic. And so I have this really bad recording of the Star Trek The Next Generation theme song uh, to start the game off. So you're, you're not getting the full experience here, but you'll just have to imagine it. Okay, we have a little animated com badge. We have our captain's log. And here's another scanned graphic from the technical manual. Uh, so I must select which Starbase to go to. The choices are below. So you have Starbase 571, which it tells me has the most sophisticated sensor and computer systems. And it also has excellent, spelled incorrectly, tactical capabilities. Or I can go to Starbase 921, which is apparently the short game. So if we go to Starbase 921, it tells me that, uh, oh, this feature will only be in version 1.2 of the game. Okay, so we'll go to Starbase 571. <laughs> okay, so we have some more uh, narrative there. Looks like we can... Oh, we're being hailed by the Romulans. Do we want to open the comm line or do we want to fire photons? I think we want to fire the photon torpedoes. Oh, the Enterprise fires the torpedoes. The Romulans fire back. After a while, 15 Romulan vessels decloak. The Enterprise and the Starbase. <laughs> Not just the Enterprise, but the Enterprise and the Starbase have been destroyed. Game over. Return to the misspelled beginning. All right, let's try that again. So we will click here to continue. We'll go to Starbase 571. Let's see what the Romulans have to say this time. Okay, I'm not going to read all that, but we can apparently pool our resources, spelled incorrectly, or yeah, right, let's pool our resources. Okay, we team up. <gasps> oh, their sensor data has information about this cubicle ship. This was clearly not a scan from the technical manual. This was, uh, you know, hand drawn in Mac Paint. Okay, let's team up with the Romulans and go with them to investigate. Uh, okay, their ship was damaged. <gasps> we see a Borg ship approaching with weapons loaded. Let's hail the Borg. They tell you that you need to transport over to the Borg ship and become their, uh, wrong there, their information source. Sure, I'll be myself over. Ah, uh, you prepare yourself to be the Borg's property. You have Chief O'Brien beam you over. Instantly you are unconscious. Soon your mind is deprived of your body and you are dead. The Borg has no trouble destroying your ship, the Romulan vessel, and the Ramualan home planet. The Borg ship continues on to Federation space and destroys planet after planet until it is to Earth. And it destroys Earth! Oh no, you should not beam yourself over to the Borg ship. Okay, one last try. I bet we can win this game. Let's, let's go back to Starbase 571. We'll open the comm line. We'll talk to the Romulans. We'll team up with the Romulans. Okay. We'll go with them to investigate. Uh, let's hail the Borg. Yeah, no, I'm not going to beam myself over to the Borg ship. Let's... Oh, yeah, nanites. That was from an episode of Star Trek The Next Generation. Let's send over replicated nanites. <gasps> Dr. Crusher and Mr. Data have been working on little micro-sized organism called, again, they were actually nanites from the game, but called nanites. 
They could enter a human cell. You transport over a thousand nanites. They eat away so fast at the Borg ship, they destroy it. Wow, within five seconds? The universe is safe. Starfleet is so impressed, they put you up for a promotion. Good job. Great job, you win. Wow. This is the most awesome game ever. So that is the Star Trek The Next Generation game I made in sixth grade. This is version 1.1, revision 1. Thanks for playing. Or, oh, because why would you want to quit this game? We're going to default to no. Yes, I think I'm sure I want to quit. Well, that was pretty incredible. Thanks for joining me on this trip down memory lane with my Star Trek The Next Generation game.